by the high in the IMDb score on Google. Okay. But yeah, Matrix was excellent. So, I bet you all forgot this movie even existed. Yeah, I think everybody would have wanted to forget this movie existed. But, they can't let go that this movie was a big, massive failure. Okay? That nobody liked it. Okay? It is another pointless sequel that nobody asked for. A, a sequel to a series that concluded. It's kind of like they're making, it's kind of like Ryan's Game making a fifth Hunger Games movie. That has completely nothing to do with the previous four books and takes like 68 years after the first last movie. But this movie is a box of its failure. But now they're saying that it's HBO Max's fault that no one wanted to watch the Matrix Resurrection. Yeah, I can see like, oh yeah, Black Widow, because of Di cause Disney Plus Premium. Because again, Disney Plus Premium, I think, did steal away um, money from the feeders and, and Black Widow. But the difference between this and Matrix is that nobody wanted to watch the fucking Matrix on HBO Max either. Okay? Nobody wanted to watch this movie. Okay? Why can't we even, why can't, it's like... No one, like, they even have put data out for HBO Max that nobody really watched this movie on HBO Max. Kind of like Cruella for Disney Plus. No one watched Cruella on Disney Plus, and no one watched this movie on HBO Max. For example, let's compare this to Dune. Dune was really successful both in Fetus and HBO Max. So HBO Max is not the issue here. It's the fact that they put out a really bad movie, a really unnecessary movie, and Fetus, and no one wanted to watch it. Okay? And again, I can, like, for example, the more non-franchise movies like King Richard and, uh, Many Saints of Newark was, again, bombed in theaters because it is most likely because people didn't want to take a risk of going to see a non-franchise movie in, in theaters and they say, you know what, let's just watch it on HBO Max instead. Well, nobody really wanted to see this movie on HBO Max either. So, the movie only made $47 million at the domestic box office because this movie is just bad. If you make a bad movie, no one's going to want to watch it. It's just, it's just, no, it's just, it's just dumb, it's just normal water kill. If you make a bad movie, no one's going to want to watch it. I don't think that Matrix Resurrections is a reason for HBO Max's growth because nobody wanted to watch this movie. Okay. Why can't they just accept that nobody wanted to watch this movie and this movie was completely unnecessary? Okay? It's just, it's just so stupid. Okay? And good that this movie loses money because they don't deserve, we don't need a sixth Matrix so we can, so we can, so the world, we don't need a fifth Matrix movie. Okay? We don't need a fifth one. Okay? What they were setting this up to be the next, they were setting this up to be its next franchise, the next new big series. Okay? And again, this, again, Matrix Resurrection shows Hollywood and pe there's people's reluctance to see non-franchise movies. Their reluctance to watch anything that is a part of a franchise, okay? A, that isn't a sequel to an already existing franchise of, or already existing movie series or reboot or remake, okay? This is the problem. Okay, and yes, we do need a big massive blockbuster, but we still have massive blockbusters that are like Inception, that are like when Independence Day came out, when the original Ghostbusters came out, Star Wars, okay, big movies and new universes to get into, that people can get into. No wonder why Squid Game was so popular, because it act something and people that not everything has to be an established franchise to be popular, okay, we'll get indie games. Games like Among Us became really popular. It was not Mario 800. It was not Halo 60. Okay, it was an entirely new idea. An entirely new franchise that people got interested into. But the only ones that refused to innovate is Hollywood. And that's because movie going audiences refuse to watch anything that's not a part of a franchise. That's the most infuriating part about it. Okay? It's the most infuriating part about it because... You guys, okay, don't want to watch, and again, I'm a part of this problem too, okay? I want to watch about like one or two movies that were not a part of franchise. I, I was hesitant on buying some movies because they were not for, because they were not familiar series. But this is the problem here, okay? Yeah, I don't want to see movies like Marry Me or, you know, Moonfall. I, but again, 
This is a problem with Hollywood. Okay? You don't really have that big new exciting movie series that comes out. Okay? In the 80s and 90s, there's all these huge, massive movie series coming out. Yes, all of them may be based on books like Jurassic Park, but Jurassic Park spawned a huge franchise that is basically more recognizable. The movie series is more recognizable than the books it's based off of. Especially Jurassic World. Okay? You turned an obscure book into a very popular series. Which, the one company that most frustrates me is most is Ryan's Gate. Okay? They sold, okay, they sold the Knives Out franchise, because they're going to turn Knives Out into a franchise now, to fucking Netflix! Why? Okay, you could have had one, you could have a huge franchise, again, Knives Out 2 could be complete garbage, but they sold the franchise to Netflix, okay? Fucking Netflix! It's going to be a Netflix exclusive movie! Yeah, Lionsgate, the idiotic... This is why nobody likes Lionsgate. Whenever they have something successful, they usually sell it to something else or it's based off some book that usually ends after a couple of entries, like Divergent, Twilight, and, of course, Hunger Games. They don't really have any long-lasting series. Yes, they have John Wick, but what happens when Keanu Reeves retires? Okay, but he doesn't want to make John Wicks anymore because the only thing that makes Lionsgate money now is John Wick movies because they sold Knives Out to fucking Netflix, okay? Fucking Netflix. They sold it to Netflix, which is stupid, okay? Why did they sell it to Netflix? Why did they t- take it to Netflix, okay? Which means Lionsgate is the stuck with John Wick now, okay? And non-franchise movies don't make money anymore, so they have to have something that will make money that isn't John Wick, okay? Look at Paramount. I like to criticize Paramount, but look at Paramount, okay? Paramount has Sonic now, okay? They have the whole Transformers franchise and G.I. Joe franchise that they still own rights to, okay? They they still own rights to the G.I. Joe series, Transformers. They're trying to turn Clifford into a franchise. Yes, Clifford is like a kid's book or something. I think it's like a kid's show. They are making a Paw Patrol movie series now. They're making, you know, they still own, you know, the entire Transformers series. They're making the Sonic movies. They're actually trying to make a comeback. But, the you know, the problem with Hollywood is they can't make non-franchise movies successful. Okay? Yes, Disney movies, Free Guy, which is the own, and Jungle Cruise, which, again, is that's based off of Disney-wide. Whereas, again, Jungle Cruise still was a box office failure, but Free Guy was the only real successful non-franchise movie that was released in 2021. Okay, the real only hit from a non-franchise movie. And now it's because those Wild Wild was in it. And they got all of these YouTube streamers to be in the movie. Because, oh my god, Ninja's in this movie. I gotta go see it. Okay, oh my god. Those videos about video games, I gotta go see it. But the problem with Hollywood is that they don't have any new franchises. Okay, movie franchises in the 2020, 2010s. Okay. Besides Marvel, okay, and John Wick, okay, and some new Disney franchises. Oh, yeah, you have John Wick, which is the only noble one. You have the DC and, like, how many, this is, this is like, pathetic. The 2000s and 1990s and 1980s had so many franchises come out. Yep, John Wick, How to Train a Dragon, and... Was they ended Tower Train Dragon, Kingsman, that's officially over. Lego movie, that's officially over after the box office failure of the Lego movie too. Uh DC, you know, that's already in hot water, the purge. You know, they're going to end make purge movies to the end of time, but you know They don't really have they haven't ruled again. Because most of the franchises either A, they ended, B, the last movie of course failed, which they're gonna probably try to bring back in ten years like the Lego movie and Kingsman. Or, C, they couldn't even start off because nobody wanted to watch them. Okay? And now, basically, Hollywood's obsessed. And people were, like, criticize, like, really, Hollywood? You're trying to turn this into a franchise? You're trying to turn this into a franchise of five sequels? Well, that's because movie franchises 
sadly, make the most money. Okay? They make the most money. And that's why people don't get it. Okay? Movie franchises make more money. That's why it's very hard for an indie filmmaker to make movies if you make an if you're an indie filmmaker because you're still never gonna beat Marvel, you're never gonna beat Star Wars, you're never gonna beat these big franchises that are always gonna be number one. Okay? And you have to work your schedule around these blockbusters, which is another problem. And Marvel and, and Marvel and Star Wars are the two big problems, okay? They're the reasons why people are hesitant to see non-franchise movies. Goodbye.